Welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. I am Mickey B and I am happy to say that I have found some time to do another haul to show you some of the many things that I've been purchasing. Um, so let's just jump right into it because I don't know when I'll have time to do another one. So we're going to first start off with these wreath formations or with these wreath forms and this is in the shape of a cross and there's two of these here. I always buy things in two when it's a decorative thing because if it's something that's going to go on my uh, doors outside, I have a double door. So I always have to get two. Moving right along, I'm just going to pull stuff out randomly. This is new stuff. This is old stuff. We're just getting caught up. I'm just getting caught up. You guys may have seen this stuff already. We've got the Arm & Hammer foot powder. Let's see. We've got a little glare on that, don't we? Get a fix that glare. Eh, hold on. About that. Okay. Anyway, you guys can see. It's the talc free foot powder by Arm and Hammer. <clears throat> I don't know where that glare is coming from. And I got two of them. And the reason I got these is because I like to wear my shoes with no socks, with no um uh, what do you call those? Trouser socks. No trouser socks and no sock socks when I'm when it's hot and it's still hot out here in sunny Los Angeles. So I like to put the powder in my shoes to ensure that my feet don't stink and my shoes don't stink when I take them off from the sweating and the walking. Moving on. I don't know if that was too much information or not, but there you go. Um, all that glitz shower steamers. Now, I bought two bags of these, and this was something different I hadn't seen before, and I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I have used this in the shower, and it was uneventful. It's like nothing happened. So, I mean, it said put just drop it in the shower and let the water hit it. So I did that. I even like put water on it initially, and the thing didn't do anything. It just kind of fizzled, but I didn't even smell anything. So I don't know. It wasn't, um, I wouldn't buy them again. So when I use the two bags that I did buy up, I won't be purchasing them again. But it was a cute idea. If it works, I thought it would have been great. I thought it was going to turn my shower into this amazing experience where there was steam and, you know, the uh, like an aromatherapy spa type of uh, experience was going to happen in the shower. But I'm like, if I didn't look twice, I wouldn't have known I had even put it in there. Moving on, I bought these makeup brushes. There's a set of three. Uh, let's see. As the other ones come out, I'll show you because I don't know where they are in this bag. So this is the contour brush. I know you guys have seen this little thing. And these are really, really soft. Um, you guys know I don't even wear makeup, but I use it for other things like to cover up the gray edges which I'm hiding right now with a headband but when I use that little cover-up stuff that's mostly what I use these brushes for because they're soft and they are gentle on my edges and I just thought they were cute a cute set this I know you guys have seen the silicone mask applicator and they had pink peach blue and white and I think just like a clear white one um, I bought a couple more, so as I pull them out this bag, you will see them. This is my health and beauty products bag. So this next item is the shadow switching sponge, and it's this little container that has a, like a pad in here where you brush your brushes against it if you're going in between um, colors of, I guess, eyeshadow, blush. I don't know. I don't wear makeup, so don't get me to lie. Uh, here's another makeup, I mean a mask applicator, and this is the peach one. This glare is really messing with me. This was something that's new. It is a makeup brush cleansing mat in the shape of a mermaid tail. If you look closely, you will see it has, you know, you can see like this area is raised. So you can scrape your brushes against them and clean them. Next, I have this Lift Your Hair to New Heights Sleep Comb. Now, as a natural hair girl, I got this to hopefully help with detangling my natural curls when I, uh, you know, 
try to comb through this. So I thought this was cool. And the width between the teeth, I'm hoping, is a benefit um, and will help me get through my hair when it's time to get through it in a timely manner. <clears throat> here's a purple mask applicator. And then here's another brush that goes with that set. This is the eyeshadow brush. So that looks like that. I'm on my laptop today, so that's why I keep doing all this movement because I'm not really sure what I'm pointing this in front of. So that's why I'm looking a little out of whack. I got a Pout It Out lipstick. It's the color hot pink that I'm wearing today. You guys, it's the actual name of it, I think. Let me see if I can read it. It is called... I can't see it too well. I think it's something like... In, impertinente or imperiamente or impertinente is something like that and the way you can find out you have to lift these up like this so you can see the top of what's in there and this glare is just there you go I'm not even in out the light I mean I'm in my anyway eyeglass cleaner I want to try this out because in the evening when I take my contact lenses off and I put my glasses on, they're always dirty. So it'll be nice to have something that will keep them clean. And does this say anything special about this? Anti-fog, anti-static, non-abrasive um, for glass, plastic, and polycarbonate lenses. So, and it's called Happy Eyes Glass Eyeglass Cleaner. there all right now I have the cuticle oil and nail strengthener now I don't know about you but my nails grow you see like every time I get 10 decent sized nails they'll start breaking like the two thumbs broke first and then the pinky so I never can keep 10 long nails for a long period of time once I get there and I start giving them attention they start to break off so I was hoping using this might be helpful uh, might give might strengthen them a little and it says to use begin with cleanse dry hands lightly brush the oil onto nails and cuticles gently massage your nail and cuticle area so that's pretty simple enough so I, that's why I got this to give it a try to see if I can keep 10 fingernails for an extended length of time. This is the second makeup brush cleansing mat that I purchased in the tail in the mermaid tail shape. Oh, and just on the back of this thing, it's a suction. I forgot to show you that on the last one. So you mash it, and I guess it holds it still so you can put the brushes up against it. I got another sleek comb because I like to have the same supplies <clears throat> in both bathrooms so I don't have to run back and forth. And then I got a third one just in case I really love it and something happens to one of the first two, I'm still good. You got to think ahead, folks. You got to think ahead. This was cool. This I will lift you. I will lift it up Afro pick. You guys remember back in the day, for those of you who are old enough, remember the black power fist? And then people would walk around and they'd have these stuck in their Afros in the back. So this was very nostalgic. Um, so I got a couple of these. Um... This is the electronic nail kit. This thing, you think, what is it really going to do? So I bought two of these. I tried one already, and they actually work. They're not going to, you know, because these parts, the attachments are small, so they um, cover a smaller area. But I was, for a dollar, you know, I wasn't disappointed in what it did. Now, of course, there are... Uh, nail machines that work amazingly much more amazingly than that but for a dollar i was pleased with the results that i got from it so you know in a crunch or something if you need a quick fix i think it was worth it and i i was happy with the purchase um soak off nail caps when you use the gel the glitter any nail polishes lately i've noticed you uh when you want to get the polish off they don't just rub off like it used to. I don't know. I feel like polishes have changed, you know, present day. So these hopefully will be helpful 
you can get the same result that this gives you if you get a cotton ball, soak it in some nail polish, and then uh, put it on your finger and put a piece of foil around it. It's the same idea, but this is just a little bit more convenient, and you don't have to keep using up um, aluminum foil. So I got two of them. So when my nails get strong and I can start giving them some more attention, then I can use that to take the polish off properly. This is something fairly recent, the under eye massager. When you have those bags under your eyes, when you wake up and you need something to just rub it out, you know, I guess that's what this is supposed to be good for. Um, begin with a cleanse dry face, glintly jide, glintly jide, glint, <laughs> Gently glide the steel ball underneath and around the eye area for cooling relief. For an added spa experience, apply your favorite eye moisturizer or serum before using the massager. So there you go. That's what that's for. Black Power. I got another one. More Black Power. I got a third one. I think that's it. Uh, and then here's the third set in that uh, set of brushes. This is the foundation brush, and this is the one that I would use to put on actual, to use for blush. I like the shape of it. It's different than um, most of the, all of the other blush brushes that I've had that I do have. And that's the one thing that I do put on is blush from time to time. So I like, this one was really soft, and I like how round and, you know, I like the shape of it and everything like that. Okay, now I have some scoochie, fashionably, fashion, I cannot talk, fashionably fit two-in-one hair and wristband. So you can put this in your hair, and you can put it on your wrist. So let's get it close. So see right here, she's wearing it on her wrist. I don't know, what is this showing here, hidden pocket? Oh, so there's a pocket inside of it as well. Let's, let's open it up and see what this is all about. I've got a couple of them. So, we take it out. Let's look at this black one. Okay, so this is how small it is. Oh, and there's a cute little pocket right here. And it's a Velcro pocket. So, you want to make it say Velcro or is it here? It's, okay, it's Velcro. It's very hard to open though I can't it's slippery it's cool though look I can't get this there's a velcro it's a very oh, it's a very thin piece of velcro come on good lord is that why these are at the Dollar Tree anyway this is the, <laughs> the pocket opening we don't want to waste time you see that little thin strip right there and then this is the side for your hair, or even it could be this side if you turn it the other way. And then you put it on and it could be a bracelet. That's pretty neat if you have to, um, I think I would probably use these more just for these purposes um, over in my hair because, and I'll tell you why, when I take Lacey walking, my little doggy dog, um, I like to have my keys, just my house keys, and I don't need like a whole pouch or something. And I like to have things conveniently available when I need them. So having it on your wrist like that is pretty cool, I think. So I, would, my, I might just use these for that and scrap the whole hair idea. And they had a few kinds, two different designs, I should say. So this was the first one. Oh, I just turned them backwards. This, this was the first one. All right, and the other two will come as I go through the bag. Here's another one right here. Oh, this glare. I need to never use this spot again. And then I think I got a third one. Maybe not, but we'll see. All right. So what comes up next is the Lip Scrub by LA Colors. I've never tried these before. Where is the doggone camera? Okay, so it's this little green light up here. All right, so yeah, so the uh, Lip Scrub by LA Colors. This is Berry Punch. Now that I know where to point it, and let's just do this and get the glare. And it's just a red, uh, 
lip scrub. I know these came out, I believe, last year, but I never tried one. So I use a lot of lip gloss, so I like to, I wanted to give that a try. Here's another under eye massager. I always buy things in twos, just, I don't know, I just have an issue with that. If I like it, and I like to know that I have a backup, and if it's like beauty product type things, I like to have one in each of my bathrooms. Here is another scoonchy uh, hairband. It's a workout, chill out, super soft. It is very soft, it's very wide. And then it's got this pink uh, embellishment at the front of it. This is what the back looks like, and it's just one consistent band and I got it because I like wide bands cover them gray edges so that's why I'm drawn to these this is her in the picture how it looks on her head so but yeah that's why I get these wide ones because when I don't have time to henna uh, like I need to do today then I pop one of those on I got another lip scrub this is cool mint And then this is, this is more like that uh, mermaid kind of color that everybody's buying. Or it could just be light blue. I got another set of the headbands in this design, like a maroon and a blue. So I'm actually going to like these. I think these are definitely just going to be a, hair, a wristband. It says hair and wristband right here. But I'm just going to use it for a wristband alone because I'm really digging that whole little secret pocket. One thing you don't know about me is I hate carrying stuff. And I like to have things on me. I like things that I can put on me that have pockets or little places where I can put things versus carrying like a bag. I hate carrying a bunch of different things. So I'm really happy with that. This is contact lens case. Speaking of contact lenses, it says all eyes on me. All eyes on me. That's right. And it's pink. Gotta love it. So I got that one. And then for you natural hair gals, Conair pen and style. You see the cute little size of these pens? Sometimes you don't need a big, long, or normal size. Well, the extra long or the normal size hair pens. You just need something small. And I thought these were, not only were they cute, but they were very practical for those purposes. And you get 24 black, so that must be 8 times 3, so 8 times 3, 24 of these. And look at, they're just so cute, but they're, they make so much sense, and I've never seen these before. And they're by Conair, so thank you, Conair. That was, that was a good one. I appreciate that one. All right, and now we've got some <laughs> hair bonnets. I go through hair bonnets like people go through potato chips. Um, so yeah, these were different designs and other than the normal black one. So let's just open up one of these. Now, the ones that I bought before were all black and they were a little tight. This elastic part. So here's the design, by the way. And that's what caught my eye on these is that they actually had a design on them versus just being all black and it's a very thin you can kind of see my hand through there I don't know if you can see it on the on camera but it's very thin whereas the black one is just dark but I can see the laptop through this as I look through this so it's nice and thin and light and here's the uh, elastic and this is a thin elastic now when I use the first ones that I purchased that were all black this elastic is very nice and firm but it was a little too snug for me. I don't like to be snug when I'm trying to sleep. So I um, use it with another one and just kind of put it further back on my head until it loosens up. And they do loosen up. They all loosen up over time, which is why I buy so many of these. Um, and as it loosened up, then the elastic uh, became to where I could wear it just normally, you know, just like that instead of pushing it back. So the, all of those designs are similar. Um, so I got one, two, three. It's like different parts of the fabric. You can kind of see it's the same idea. I don't want to open every one, but it's the same idea 
Um, but yeah, for a dollar, that's a great deal because those things don't last no matter how much you pay for them. I guess there may be some out there that could last a little longer, but I'm cool with buying those from the Dollar Tree. I got another contact lens case. Why? Because I have two bathrooms. Um, I got another pack of the cute little hairpins. Why? Because I have two bathrooms. And what else is at the end of the bag? I got another mask applicator. Why? Because I have two bathrooms and I want to give some away uh, and some Christmas gifts this year. All right. That is the first bag. Let's move on to the second one. Okay. The second bag is now I, and I'm just pulling this stuff as it comes out because I forget what I buy. I just buy it separated and then put it in boxes to haul to try and do a haul. So very happy to be able to do this today. But in this bag, I'm as surprised as you are, but this is my Christmas bag. And let me just preface it with, I need to be slapped buying anything additional for Christmas. I don't need any of this, but this stuff is so cute. The Dollar Tree, they get you. It's so cute. And I don't have this. And look at this. This is an ornament and it's got, uh, it's like burlap. It's a red burlap fabric with the black velvet uh, belt and the little uh, brown buttons <clears throat> and the gold glittery buckle that says ho, ho, ho. You know, I got two. Aren't they cute though? And look at how thick they are. They are like a plywood, I would say. But I thought these were really cute. I only bought two. I didn't need them. But these would be great for um, gift wrap. When you're gift wrapping, uh, when you're wrapping a gift and you need an embellishment on it, these are great for that. They also had these stencils. Santa, please stop here. And are these... These are not adhesive, by the way. And then there's another side on the back. Wait, this glare. Stop, stop. All right. Okay, that's the first one. The second one, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then here's the back of that one. Third one, season's greetings. And we got bows and trees. And then the last one is, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. There we go. All right, snowman, penguin, blah, blah, blah. You can look and see that. I always wonder why people are showing you stuff and they do this and they go and then this one has and you're looking right at it a santa claus a reindeer a sleigh but i get it somebody could just be away from the laptop and just hearing you and might want to run in based off of what they're hearing but it just seems so silly sometimes when i'm watching it but i get it all right now moving on to the other these items these christmas tree items i got even though I need to be slapped, just because they were cute. You know, we all fall into the same trap. It was so cute, or you want to give it to somebody, or it would make a great gift. So let me just pull them all out and get through it very quickly here. Um, and then I'm going to stop here and do the rest of my stuff in another haul. All right, sorry for the movement. I'm trying to make room on my little table here, and I'm trying to get this glare out of my light if I can. So the first thing, socks. Dollar Tree Christmas socks or Christmas house. So these are low cut socks. So here's the design. Cute, cute. Thought that was cute. Here's the second pair. Very cute. Third pair. You know I got these. Come on and say it with me because of the pink. I don't know what it is, but I just love pink, as you can see, as you can see. All right, now we've got socks. Aren't these cute? Now, these are the knee-high socks. So, there we go. 
they're the long, so they're folded in half. And I thought this was cute. A little gingerbread teddy bear. Is that a gingerbread man? Gingerbread teddy bear with the mint. And then look at these. Very, very cute. So, and these are also in their hand. And I like how they're here. Let's see. What, yeah, and the, the top part, the band also has red as well as the toe. So that's pretty cute, and I imagine it's just like that on the other one I showed you. Here is the third pair of Christmas trees with the black heel, and the tip of the toe and the top of the sock is also black. It's a Christmas tree design. It drives me crazy how this is opposite um, when you're trying to... I used to wonder why people were moving it around so much, because they're looking at it. And they see that it's either upside down, sideways, or, you know, not coming out right. But isn't this one cute? Mr. Snowman. I like, I'm always drawn to snowmen and gingerbread um, ideas for Christmas because I feel like they're mutual for people who don't necessarily celebrate Christmas. Um, it's a safe bet to buy something like that or like the candy canes. Candy canes don't really say Christmas. We know it comes, they come out Christmas time and like the little uh, gingerbread or teddy bear. And this one I thought was cute. Merry Christmas and all the kisses. You got a red toe or a red heel, a red toe and the red top trim. So even though I didn't need these, you gotta admit, aren't they cute? They're cute and they're gonna make cute little giveaways, uh, gifts to give away to people. I actually have a plan for all this stuff. So if I have time, you guys will see what the plan is. But um, let's turn back around here. Let's put these behind me and see what else is on my back. I didn't buy too much, I will say. I was pretty good in that regard. Um, I bought this little Happy Holidays uh, decor item. It's pretty thick. It's a nice heavy piece of wood or plywood, but it's really thick, so it's got a little weight to it, and it can sit just like that, or if you wanted to hang it, you, this is tight enough where you can use this to hang it on a wall, but it's just cute, happy holidays, and it's got the little red truck, and the little red truck is just getting so much traction. It's cute, but it's not grabbing me all that hard, but I did like it in this little setting right here, so I got that, but Again, I need to be giving Christmas stuff away and not buying more, but this was different. Look at this little door ornament. <laughs> I've never seen this before, and it's so cute. And the reason also that I got it is because I am a crafter as well. And sometimes when you're a crafter, and you know, of course, I bought two, but I didn't buy two of the other one. But I'm a crafter as well. And, you know, as a crafter, when you see things, you're like, oh, this is so cute. You can make this and come up with your own idea, but it gives you that creative energy to do something yourself that you wouldn't have thought of necessarily to do. But when I saw this, I'm like, I saw many different ways that I can make those myself. And you can use all sorts of different materials to make it. You don't have to necessarily use the wood and what they use, but you can still make something that's similar to this. So that's why I got them. They were cute, and then they just kind of sparked my creative energy. And is this the last thing? This is the last Christmas item that I got, which I thought were cute. Some little felt Santa Claus hat stickers. Let me get close up if I can. Line up the glare. I don't know where the glare is kicking in. But there you go. So yeah, and they're just adhesive on the back. So these are just cute if you're making a Christmas card, especially if it's one, let's say you and your family did like a family Christmas card and you guys are all on there and it's like a picture of all of you guys. And you can put little hats on each of your heads, you know. That would be expensive, I guess, if you were sending out a lot of cards. So how fun would that be? Or you can do it as a keepsake, and then you don't have to send it out and make it, you know, have it end. I can't tell. I have it end up being expensive. But look, I have a tendency to ramble. That's the end of this haul. I have three boxes in front of me of more stuff that I need to get hauled. 
and this is just the stuff that was in the bag so stay tuned for the remaining items that I have been purchasing over the last weeks weeks we're, we're going back we're current we're going back we're all over the place but um, I gotta go run some errands and when I come back I'll sit down and try and get one of these boxes out of the way and then that'll knock it down to two so if you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to more haul videos when I have time to do them, um, click the like button, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know, you know, what items you thought were cool um, and what items you might be interested in purchasing. And if you did purchase some of these things, what are you going to do with them? All right, you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I have to force myself to shut up. So I'm shutting up anymore.